and it's PC helper here and in this video I'll be showing you how to fix lagging and stuttering of the game Need for Speed Heat for PC. So a lot of users have been reporting me that the early access version is not really nicely optimized for PC. So if you're also having performance issues with this game, you can try all the workarounds that I'm showing in this video. But I would also like to mention that I'll be making two videos on this topic. First is this one in which I'll be showing all the general workarounds that will help you in improving overall gaming performance of your PC. So all the workarounds I'll be showing you are not specific to this game only. They are all general workarounds that will help in improving overall gaming performance of your PC. But the second video I'll be making will be just specific to this game that is all the workarounds I'll be showing in that video will be specific to this game and settings related to this game and configuration files and all. So I'll be making that video most probably when the full version of the game is released that is on 8th of November. So till then just you can follow all the 5 workarounds that I'm showing in this video and it's really helping a lot of users in reducing lagging and stuttering. So let's get started. So the first step is the most important step as in this step we'll be downloading a game booster. A game booster is a software that puts maximum of your PC's RAM in running a particular game. So the game booster we'll be downloading is Razer Cortex. So just search on Google download Razer Cortex game booster and go to this first link by Razer.com. So it will take some time to load and after that click on download now and its downloading will be started and once it's downloaded its installation is really simple so once you install this you'll be on this page but the advanced setup of this game booster is really complicated because you have to work with these things as you can see processes spatial services and non window services so i won't be covering these things in this video so i've already made another video about advanced setup of Razer Cortex Game Booster. So I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this video. So please watch that be before pro proceeding further. So this is the most important step. So please do the advanced setup by watching that video. Watch that video right now and then proceed to the second step. In the second step, we'll be reducing runtime services. To do so, search services in your search tab and go to this first option services app. It will take few seconds to load depending on your PC's configuration. And here it is, it's loaded. Here scroll scroll down to X. So in X, Xbox Live is Xbox Accessory Management Service. Double click on it. And by default, it is on manual or automatic. Just click on disabled and apply. And click on OK. Do the same with Xbox Live Auth Manager. By default, it's on manual or automatic. Disable it. And do the same with next to that is Xbox Live Game Save. Disable it and Xbox Live Networking Service. I've already disabled it. Now search for F and go to Fax and disable it too. I've already disabled it. By For you it will be on manual or automatic. Just click on disable and apply and click on OK. So that's it for this step. So these are the services that we don't need while gaming. That's why I've stopped them. So now let's proceed to the third step. Third step again is a really important one and this will be changing our PC's configuration. So just search for run and here type msconfig ms config and press enter it will again take few seconds depending on your pc's configuration and here it is so select selective startup load system services and load startup items and the next page that is boot by default nothing is selected here you have to select no gui boot and by default timeout is 30 seconds just change it to 3 seconds like i have done now go to services and here hide all microsoft services by default everything is ticked here like this but here look for the services that are of no need to you while gaming so and disable them so i'll disable adobe advanced service and all the adobe services and i'll also disable all the google services google chrome services that is and i've already disabled team viewer azkl service and qm emulator service so that's it for the services tab now go to startup now open task manager and here we'll be disabling all the apps that are of no need to us while our pc starts so as you can see, I've disabled most of the apps. The only app I have enabled is my audio manager and ba audio background processors. Only these three are enabled. Rest everything I've disabled on startup. It helps me in freeing up a lot of RAM by disabling this on startup. So that's it for this step. Just apply these settings. It will require a restart to apply these settings. So I'm exiting without restart, but you should restart your PC now. So now let's proceed to the next step. In this step, we'll be changing our PC's visual settings. So to do so, just go to your this PC and right click on it and go to its properties. Now in properties go to advanced system settings. In advanced system settings under performance tab go to settings 
and in settings by default it's on let windows choose what's best for your computer you have to change it to adjust for best performance and just take smooth edges for screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons so this won't give you a huge gaming boost but will surely help in freeing up a lot of ram and will indirectly help you in improving the gaming performance just apply these settings and click on ok so that's it for this step now let's proceed to the last one now let's come to the last step it will give your pc a boost but for a temporary time in this step we'll be deleting temporary files so just search run and here type temp temp and delete all the files present in this folder i recently deleted all the files in this folder so this folder is empty but if you haven't deleted your temporary files for quite some time then you will be having plenty of files in it after doing so again search run and here type percentage sign temp and again percentage sign and in this folder also i deleted all the files recently but still there are some files you might be having hundreds of them if you haven't deleted them recently delete all the files permanently and skip the files that are not being deleted as you can see already 4 gb is deleted it is deleting 4 gb junk files these all are junk files and are of no need to your pc and after that once you have deleted all the temporary files in this folder go to the last folder that is prefetch go to your this pc and here in c drive go to windows and in windows search for prefetch open prefetch and here also delete all the files present here these all are junk files i've already deleted all the files here too recently so i don't have much files here but you will be having a hundred of them so just delete all of them i'll skip the files that are not being deleted and that's it so that's it for this video if you found these steps helpful please hit the like button below if you have any doubt write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day